Hi, so today we're going to uh, create a series of lesson studies where teachers will basically observe themselves. So reflecting on a good lesson and capturing good practice and being able to uh, evaluate what went well and what they need to do next. So the first thing I've done really is just to change these statements here in the settings. So we're going to use the terms prioritize, develop, secure and sustain. I'm going to start in the create area and this is the part where I'm going to show you really how to set it up. So in create, this is going to be a key stage to maths uh, self-evaluation and I'm going to put in here spring. Okay, so, so we set that up um, and we're going to get a label and down here I'm going to use my lesson study. Now my lesson study is one that I've created which is kind of uh, you know having played around with the lesson snapshot uh, the learning snapshot so you can either uh, I, I will put this one on Facebook so you can get it from around the moon and download it for free if you want to do or I will send it out to you or you can create your own and in here I'm going to make it subject specific so this one's going to be maths which means that we can filter the analysis and get some insights uh, for the subject lead as well from that not going to use the judgments the ones that I've created or the Ofsted ones, I'm going to add that one. And here, really, I need to assign it. So each of the teachers is basically going to observe themselves. So it's going to be me observing uh, me. And I'm going to add that one. And then I'm going to uh, add, uh, let's go for um, Ned observing himself. And we're going to have... Uh, Ernest who's going to observe himself as well and what it's going to do is it's going to send out a notification to each of these staff to say that it's they're ready to do let's have Lillian as well observing Lillian uh, there we go and let's add that so we've got four teachers one form entry key stage two maths and the minute I send that up and set that up that can roll so that's open now so I may say to the staff can you do this activity please over the next two weeks after you've taught a good lesson where you want to be able to review that one and then also submit something that sort of demonstrates something some pictures and some photos to the gallery that demonstrate what the outcomes look like in the books as well if we move across to the walks we can see here that it's ready to do so basically my to-do list i've got me observing me and if i click on the button there we'll take a look, a look at the framework you can see it's our learning snapshot but we've just changed these statements here just so they're a little bit more sort of developmental a bit more reflective um, and, and in here i'm going to capture one or two sentences really on my laptop probably to say what's gone well and what i need to do next um, in here i am going to add somewhere a next step so for example in here the management and organization i might have decided that i needed more resourcing for the less able so in here i would be putting that into here uh, forming that one as a next step that will go into my workflow and then i can come back to that one so let's let's do that let's uh, say um i And that's a next step and then we'll, we'll complete the entry other than that I'm fairly pleased with it let's also take a picture so in here we're going to take a photograph of some some good work so maths so that's my contribution in into the system if I now go across to my workflow um, I will see that here and I go into my next steps and I click on my next steps I can see here that here's uh, my next step we're going to complete the next step to say yep we've done that one we'll get a little growth icon like that one so here we are on Ned's account so Ned's done the same thing he's uh, in his walks when he clicks on here we can see that it's lined up and ready in his to-do list and once again he will do the same thing so and complete his so where does that all end up if we head back to the dashboard we can see on here from the the lesson study because it was a different framework that i used here 
I can see I'm starting to create a database here that's telling me what the outcomes uh, were so I can compare that with the learning snapshots for example so I can see what the the staff sort of self evaluations how they compare to the learning walks that we've done and if we come up to here let's just take a little look at the report uh, so if I key in lesson study I can bring this one up so this has got five entries so five staff observing themselves it gives me the outcomes here obviously the headlines on the strongest uh, least strongest areas we can see each of the staff and, and what their role is in school and here you can see Jules Verne observing Jules Verne uh, how they compare the outcomes the scores really there and down here uh, all time compared to this exercise so we can get a bit of an idea as to the context um, if we want to create a report we can create all the feedback we can also include images uh, we can anonymize it which would be quite useful for this one um, but for this one I'm going to create a report that has everything in it uh, we'll just open this one up and you'll get a bit of an idea as to to how useful this could be um, looking at the quality of education so as we open this report uh, the headlines are at the top again so we can see again for those five teachers all that those those statistics those that data analysis uh, uh, who's been involved we can see the strengths areas for improvement uh, we can see each of those key areas that we're looking at those four areas and as we come down here what we can see is each uh, of the teachers the reports for the teachers evaluating their own lessons so here we can see Jules observing Jules and what he thinks is his strengths and areas for improvement from that lesson so we're getting a nice page for each of those uh, for them to be able to use for their own personal development and as we head back into the gallery uh, and and start to have a little think about what some of the work looks like that they've been sending in we can then key this in and start to find the work that they've submitted so we now have some really good examples in here where we're able to use this uh, to quality assure and our staff are sending that information into there um, after a good lesson so we've got some really good examples uh, raising awareness of standards across the year groups in each subject and raising standards at the same time